Okay. Action camera. So now you gotta move that machine over a little bit too, right? Yes. Okay. But I don't need to move Do the machine it. just yet. Okay. I'm gonna place the pots first and then no we'll problem. Have the rest there. Have the access space. So preliminary here, these dots are going to be more so for me, so you won't really have to worry about those in turn. Okay. Um, these uh, magnetic adhesive pots here, so they're going to be on a two-step peel process. What you'll do is this first one's going to be a peel here. I'm just going to end up placing this one here. Usually I'll take both sides off. You don't have too much of an issue. You want to make sure that you stay away from these edges as they're really fragile, they'll bend in easily. Okay. So two step there. First one's gonna go. Here, give me a cap, a straighten this. Right. And the second one, same thing. Full process, and that one's gonna go up here, going towards the hip. Slide that off. Okay. Hip just a bit. Okay. Straighten this, and there's the second one. And take a look here. Very good. those down then once those are on here these are going to be your markers that I'm going to place here so it fits just like that okay so those and only those only go on when uh, you're using the machine that's correct okay so this goes this goes on only when you're using the machine because this is not waterproof. Okay. These are waterproof. You can shower with these if you need to. Okay. Last one. 
something that's a waterproof bunker. <laughs> yeah, it's not fully permanent. It, it will take a while to come off this uh, full natural skin marker. Yeah. Uh, but we want to make sure that those don't come off easily. Just in the just in yeah, making sure you know. What do they say? Twenty one days is uh, twenty one days. So uh, you know, each seventh day or so, they come through there. And this is going to be my own recording. No faces involved. Okay. Tripod involved. Those are the pods there. So we'll leave this on currently just to, because we're going to have to put it on here shortly. Okay. Uh, this actually stays with you in the event that you do need to realign those or touch those markers up. Okay. Usually they'll wash off preeminently. So every seven days, if, they, if you do see them start to turn, just go ahead and use that skin marker. Okay. All right. So now this is the device change or the distance is what we're going to work on here. Okay. So what we'll need to do here shortly is I will explain this, these to you and then we'll set the distance here. I'm going to bring this a little closer towards you. Good. So not quite yet. But we'll bring it up here to about the 10 marker or so. Okay. And then once we get the correct distance set, that's when I'll actually place the marker of where you need to align it to. Okay. That way, with this markers, I mean that tape marker is going to be used in order for you to guide the device out, which has wheels on it. You'll just guide it from the back here, just roll it out of place. No problem. No brakes. Gravity does it. Gravity will do it. Okay. <laughs> so, what we have on here, um, you'll see just generally uh, what I have on this device. So, what you'll see on this originally is these on the top here, these buttons. Are going to generally be used for the tablet itself okay uh, you always leave this device plugged in as we're continually going through updates for it mm -hmm. through our firmware and software so what we see on the top here is going to be our generally power button this power or or sleep function button you just tap this once in order to let the device go in the dark mode unless that screen stays illuminated the whole time okay turn it hit it once again so right here a little by itself first one Yep, the first one. Okay. So tap that once in order to black screen. Turn it right back up. Uh, hit it once again in order to use it. You can do that each time you end, each time that you exit the session and enter the welcome screen again. So these two buttons over here are going to be the volume control buttons. Okay. They're going to be voice commands letting you know exactly what you need to be doing throughout the full duration of the session. So does it uh, speed and uh, other? things is go faster go slower yes so the, once it goes into it you'll start here today it's going to be 10 minutes of a passive activity which the device is going to move the pedals on their own you'll also um go into a transition of an active portion of the session mm -hmm. for the last two minutes which will actually allow you to do that work on your own okay this button on the bottom right here this is called our um emergency stop button generally used speaking if you press this button, note that this green light goes off, mm -hmm. which indicates this green light is the uh, power to the device itself, right. so the Portal Connect. Right. Without that functionality, it won't initialize. So if you hit this button, generally it's going to be used if you have any immediate or very emergent amount of pain. Right. Um, so once you hit that, it'll completely exit you from the session. Right. No matter which point you're at, it won't save any progress. Okay. Only use that button in, you know, yeah. famous turn of speaking. Okay. Once you're ready to continue, all you'll do is you'll toggle that or turn that back to the right. Then the green light indicated power will come back on. Which is kind of universal. Yes. <laughs> Full universal there. Yeah. This button over here is the Wi-Fi button that we were speaking of earlier. So okay. if we wish to power to Wi-Fi, we can do that now. Okay. I'll tap the... Uh...
Since we're in there. Oh, yep, you're in. All right. So we're good there? Yep. Next button over here, this is the mute button. This button will only um will only show up on the welcome screen itself. So note we can't mute the volume uh or the voice commands while we're within the session itself. So if you wish to do that, you'll just do it right here. Just tap it once. Let it go back off again for the same thing. All right, now we're gonna move up here. We're gonna get um, actually started with your feet within the pedals. Note before we get started in here, I just note a couple things. So <laughs> yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, just that tab there on the right. Nobody's uh, nobody's figured out the engineering of a uh, smart bike. Yeah, <laughs> pretty simplistic here. Yeah, I'm gonna move it up to the sled here. Initially up to the 11 and see if we need to get closer. No, we don't want to really move away from the chair at all mm -hmm. We'll hinge our distance. So What's on the back of that seat? Okay. Then what we'll do these tabs here. They're actually going to be adjustable for the strap So push that in mm -hmm. let those go up. What we want to do with our foot is make sure that that's aligned with the back of the pedal itself Okay, and center that here. Oh, it's like exactly opposite is how you should ride a bicycle. It's a little bit uh, unorthodox, yeah. yeah. but we'll do that. Let this tab go out here in order to stop adjusting the strap, and then we're good. Same thing on this. There we go. And pull that down. Make sure that's secure. Slide. Yep. Okay. And we're setting our distance here. There's an extension arm here. Just adjust that for that tablet arm, okay. and then we're all good to go. All right, start. So we're ready to begin. Yep. And it's going to move my feet. Yeah. So what it'll do initially is each time that you start on the device, it's going to, what we have is we call it a pedal radius adjustment. Mm -hmm. These pedals are, they're on essentially a scale. So they'll slide out and what that does is it increases your range of motion. But I'll explain that once we get within that. Slide out like that? It'll move the pedals outward. So it'll move them forward. So okay. What that does is it'll, it brings them to a higher degree. So oh, okay, I see. It, I, uh, yeah, as long as I can see it, I yes. can understand it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. yeah. All right. And then just uh, historically, like when you know the first bit of therapy they gave me, it's like okay, get on a bicycle for ten minutes. You know, I'm like I could do that. I could open my garage door and not come here. You know. Oh, this but, is going to be even easier than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, uh, what I was getting at is uh, this is my worst position as far as on a bicycle. You, know, you have the ones that are more like incumbent like this. Yeah. Um, I was always better off on the straight bicycle. But, yeah, um, more so used to the recumbent bikes. So I'm, <laughs> I'm familiar with those. Yeah. Accuradius, accuangle. This is the treatment plan your doctor has prescribed. Please review the exercises you will be completing right. during your session. So this is going to when be you're our ready protocol to begin, screen. tap next. So what you'll see on this screen is the exact activity you'll be doing for the day. What we want to try to do is the sessions, like you said, you have for 21 days. During those 21 days, you'll have up to five sessions available to you. So we want to try to get between three to five sessions a day okay. in order for use. Those sessions are going to range anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Okay. These first three days are going to look exactly like this. So all five sessions are going to be placed at 10 and 2. Okay, and what is 10, 10 is uh, active, 10 is uh, passive where it'll move for me and then I got to do the... Are you minutes. still there? Yes, sir. That's when you're ready to continue, tap so. next. <laughs> she's, she's oppressive. So. What this is, the pedals are going to initialize all the way in each time that you start. Okay. So that way it'll bring you down to the lowest level. You can increase that increment each, I Please mean, uh, increment up to five times. Of pain by dragging the arrow or tapping on the number that best Just represents how much pain you're feeling right now. Pain level Tap possible. next to continue. All right. To begin, is, yep. please put your feet firmly in the pedal. Please tap that's next to continue. That's the same feet within the pedals. Now, and please the put your angle knee tracker on your... Please tap it's next to continue. 
You are about to begin passive mode. So what it's going to do is it's going to start moving remotely on its own. So just prepare for that. Don't resist or push back. It's going to give you some directions or to let you go through, but all it's going to say is just relax yourself, deep breathing, let the device move on its own. So I just wanted you to take a couple deep breaths for me. Try to use the first two to three minutes in order to get used to the motion itself. Let's adjust the pedals. Your doctor recommends increasing your pedal radius as far as you can while remaining comfortable. This will cause your knees to bend a little bit further. How does that feel? So if you're comfortable and, and can go stay. further, tap the green increase button. Thank you. What that does Let's is that starts your the timer right there. Mm -hmm. In order you know, to not keep letting this continuously spin without a, without a motion. Okay. No time or no mission. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if this seems like the perfect height for the seat. I don't know if there was a spec you should be 20 inches at 17 inches off the ground. Or no, we did some experimentation with the height of which seats we primarily wanted with that with that height involved. It's about, I'll say between three to, three to 18 or so, 13, 18, sorry. As you can see, I have, I actually have a um, walker in my car. I have one in the other room there, um, which has a bottle of wa a water glass on it. Would there be any chance you can uh, grab that? Uh, it's, it's somewhere in the, in the, near the kitchen somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that would help me if I don't get a little horse. No dogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're welcome anywhere. Uh, Somewhere it's a blue cart with a art with a yellow bottle on it. Uh, probably near the, near the kitchen table, I think. Or the back door. Uh, it's a yellow cup, one of those uh, thermos cups. Nah, don't worry about it. If you don't see it, don't worry about it. Might be, might have sent you on a wild goose chase. Might be in my room. No good. You gonna push that door open? See if you spot it. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, I'm so sorry. pretty comfortable with you know they made me I had the cheap black one and they made me uh, get a uh, um, uh, one of these other ones uh, uh, this one seems like it just could deal perfectly yeah well, I put the cup holder on it and you know when I go to the pool which I can't go for eight weeks now um, I put on my towels bathing suit everything on everything it. holds on this you know the little water machine uh, and I'm having no problem with this again, you know, at, at the moment. I'm really trying not to push, I think. Uh, How do the pedals feel? Yeah. Your so, doctor recommends increasing um, your pedal radius right as here, far as you can this is the while remaining comfortable. Okay. So what if this you allows you to further, do is increase the, the green increase button. Yeah, just set, you want to, to leave the once? pedals here. Yeah. So Great. it increases the range of those pedals. pedals. Very small forward. amount. So okay. about five degrees is what it's going to go How up to. How do the pedals feel? It's going to bend that more as well as extend your pedal radius as far as you so can. So if you were uncomfortable here, that's exactly what she's asking you. Further, yeah. tap the All you would do is you would tap that to decrease. It's going to bring you back down to the level you were before. Okay. If the pedal it won't stay in effect. And note this pain, timer stops each time we're in the screen until you hit the stay. So that's why the stay is important. So we'll try here for a little while. Okay. If it's Thank uncomfortable. You. Let's continue your session. If that's uncomfortable at any point in time, all you do, this button right here, mm -hmm. goes right back into that screen. So if you tap it, it goes right back in. Your there. doctor okay. recommends it. Thank you. Let's continue your session. That's there the whole session, so you can do that at any point. This button over here is a pause feature, so all it does is when you press this, it just goes here, and it pauses the pedals instead of stopping them, so pretty normal. Hit these two buttons, 
and let's continue. That's a five minute time limit. Okay. Um, yeah, a therapy place, you know, they should get on, get on the bicycle for 10 minutes and, uh, you know, I'm at 19 minutes and 44 seconds and they walk over and say, are you done yet? <laughs> Two minutes, 44 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> you know, 18 minutes. Uh, you know, it's like, uh, were you guys actually paying attention? Or <laughs> we could, we could have we could essentially do the same thing if there weren't so there weren't so many you know spectacles to go through. So yeah, there's a lot of different steps here. I don't think if you put all that on a car, it'd be so memorable, right? Yeah. <laughs> Especially not uh, 24, 48 hours after surgery, no? Yeah. Um, it feels it actually feels good. The more um, Push against the pedal, sorry. No more movement, so. Oh, uh, you get plenty of time to pedal on this after uh, the first three days. <laughs> probably want to take that rest in and take your turn. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll turn that a little bit. Okay. Oh, I kind of got in the way of it. Yeah. Let's see, that looks I'll pretty good. This. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can push it away. I just, I, I needed to sit. Yeah, push past you. Oh, but, you know, I just needed to sit. But don't push against the pedals. Relax. Yeah, it's like the chiropractor telling you, relax. You know, you know he's gonna be like twisting your neck, like it's gonna break or something. Uh, you always relax. Yeah. <laughs> like you have any choice. <laughs> When it says don't push against the pedals, that means it's sensing that a little bit of push is going on, or it'll if you do start to push through, it'll uh, try to you know effectively slow itself down. Right. Um, more so during the active, you'll see exactly what that's going to be programmed towards, because if you it has specific RPM set, so if you do go out of that range, it's going to bring some resistance towards you in order to slow you down. Okay. How do the pedals feel? Your doctor recommends yeah, increasing your pedal there. radius as far as you can. Oh, Great, we're now adjusting <laughs> your pedals outward. Try it out. Yeah. Mm. How do the pedals feel? Your doctor recommends increasing your pedal radius as far as I'll you can bring it while remaining the, comfortable. Uh, to the tin there. If you can go further, tap um, the green in increase just, button. You know, give you to leave the pedals here, there. tap the yellow this, stay uh, button. If yes, the pedal right adjustment 11, has caused 12. you more pain, What's that, tap the blue now? decrease okay. button. Push forward a little bit, so I don't want it to get too far away. Okay. Where you're not reaching. You Please tap or? the green increase yeah. button. Nice to... Thank you. Let's continue your it's session. Fine. It's fine for this session. Okay. But normally, um, and I'll put a, uh, I'll put a small piece of you know clothing down there on the front wheel support. That way it doesn't actually start to move any further. Okay. So are we on the longest that I've had it so far right now, or did we push it back? No, it, it would end up going forward, so. Okay. But it's it's effectively not moving to a great extent. I think, you know, I think it only moved one, so. If it continued to move further, then I know we had a bigger of an issue. <laughs> when you're on your own, um, is it is it is it feeling resistance? Is it making its own resistance or is it like freewheeling free ranging okay so it's... there's there's specific resistance set into the device per protocol right so we actually have control on that okay. but every seven days what you'll see is on this device it's going to ask you do you want to change anything about the protocol itself mm -hmm. so that way if you wanted to be more aggressive if you want to 
to take something away it's too aggressive for you right. you have the capability to say that and we'll get it changed over in our system okay um i don't like when i'm on uh, the bicycle we have an amenity center here and and the therapy place is not too far um and i gotta go up to at least four on the resistance otherwise um i'm i'm hurting myself uh, by freewheeling too easy if that makes any sense whatsoever i don't know if it does but uh, uh, it, makes, it makes sense okay If I don't have any resistance on the pedals, um, it seems to actually hurt more than having too much <laughs> More than having yeah. at all? All right, so coming down on a minute and a half there left. So that's pretty, that's pretty normal functionality. Oh, they're tapping. <laughs> yeah. How do the pedals feel? Your doctor recommends increasing your. Thank you. Let's continue your session. In order. That's what I'm checking here. Make sure everything's <laughs> good. So, are you limited to one uh, delivery a day? No, actually, uh, I mean, it was the holiday, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm saying it doesn't look like your car could fit too many of these things in it. Four of these things, actually. Four? Four of these. Wow. You'd be surprised how well you <laughs> pick things apart and <laughs> build them back up. I, uh, I was ten I'm always tempted to try five, but I don't know if they'd be able to it's make it time through. For the next part of your session, <laughs> active mode. Being in the middle console, trying to fit the fit the piece right between me and my arm. Active mode means I'm on my own. Yes, sir, and you're pedaling already, so you're good to go. So right where you are here in this current blue RPM zone, that's where we want to stay. Okay. And that's only for two minutes. Only for two minutes. Oh, it'll increase the. It'll increase more as you go along. Right. So that's just general. You know how these things work. Um, on the on days four through seven, it's going to change from a ten and two to an eight and four. Eight and four. Just okay. progressively towards the next week is going to give you even more. Um, it'll add some slight resistance in through this treatment plan. Very minimal though. Okay. Like I said, right now, uh, this is. Um, you know, if I, I'd be able to pedal easier if there was resistance. Um, uh, may, maybe not on the first days. Yeah, okay. But probably to the fifth day, to the fifth day's extent, yes. Okay. about 45 now when these do in it's going to ask you for your um you know subsequent pain level that you're feeling after the session then it's going to go into the two test screens for the flexion extension okay how do the pedals feel your doctor recommends increasing your pedal radius as far thank you let's continue your session Well, only about 20, yep, 25 seconds there. Going pretty good here. Yeah. It's uh, a little bit, um, 
that's a little bit of a strain, you know, but uh, they say no pain, no gain. Yes, uh, yeah, it's still early. There's, you know, you want to break up some tension there. Yeah. Because there's a, you know, there's a lot of stiffness still. Yeah. Great job. You may stop and pedaling now. This next part is very important. Please indicate uh, your current level of pain by dragging the arrow or tapping on the number that best represents how much pain you're feeling right now. Then tap next the to same? continue. About the same. We will now yeah. test how far you can so straighten your knee. Actually want to First, do. remove your feet from the pedals and place them on the floor. Yep. Tap so next to go. continue. Remove here. All right, now next step. So what we want to do with this, um, there's going to be a few screens letting you know some at exactly the instructions you're going to go through. Now, carefully move so, to the edge of your chair. Then, turn your body so you have room to straighten your surgical leg. So when you're sitting then you at the edge of your chair, you can actually just swivel to this side just next. a little bit for me. Say again? You just swivel to this side, this corner in here, just okay. a little bit to give yourself some room. Okay. There we go. All right. So, yep, there we are. Okay. So next step here is going to be let show now, you exactly what you're going to be doing. Your so forward and what you'll do your is body. when it's there. This is a test for the next. extension. So what we want to do on this extension test is we want to extend out as far as we can. That device is going to record, but we won't do that until we get to the next screen, which is going to be your um, actual countdown for it. Okay. So we want to relax on these instruction screens. Mm -hmm. This screen the once tone, this tone starts is when we actually as go into place with can this. Without causing extreme pain. All right, so then we record here, Begin put on the ground, and then just slide that out as much as you can. Thank you. So you relax Please here. Please remain at the front edge of your chair All with right. your body this next turned slightly step, away from um, the Our next test is going to be for the flexion or bending. We will now measure now, how same thing as here. We just want to relax until we get to the screen that's okay. happening now. Position? Now, slide your foot back toward your body so that your surgical knee bends. When you're... When you right, hear so the tone, bend all your you knee do, as far as you can opposite way, without you causing extreme it out, we're gonna go pain as or much injuring as we can your surgical side. Now on this one, when you get to the point of where Begin you can't now. stand that any further, you can hold that for about three seconds and then let that go. It's gonna record the highest measure. injuring your surgical site. Is that as far as we have there? Yeah. All right, hold it for about three seconds, and you can release for it. Okay. All right. Oh, you made it all the way through. Thank <laughs> you. Now Fair we'll enough? have a look yeah. at your overall progress. All right. So now we're looking at the progress here, and what you do as soon as you finish those tests, we can take this off. Okay. And uh, say next. Yep. So it goes next. So this, this is going to show you plot charts of the progress here. So just as we did for the extension, that's going to be you know, around that 11 time. degrees. Note it's going to be in the range for the acu angle about 4 to 10 degrees of where you normally see the usual proctor or the um, or the goniometers measure for this chart shows your measure. progress and how far you're able to bend your surgical knee. Same thing Tap here for the flexion. The chart. Mm -hmm. Tap so next right on about 105, chart. that's actually very good. So, you know, we're actually getting closer to our goal there. So, okay. I've had progress there. That's very good. And this, this is right in our pain level here. Pain so, that's exactly Tap what you're going to see. It's going to record that chart. for the second Tap time. Next we do it. To see the next chart. And this one right here is our safe screen. So, this is where you want to get to always. You may remove your so, note that we were here. Tracker. Like I said, it has this our customer service number here, and if you need to reference that on any issues, you can. Mm. All we do down here, this red exit, that's going to be the same, and we're all good to go again. Okay. Um, looks pretty uh, simple. I'm, I might have even gotten back a little further. I really probably need to get my butt off the chair a little bit, yeah, you know, a little much bit as further. Um, now, is this in the right position now, or do we want to leave it at 10, or... 
probably between 10 and 11. So one of these two numbers is currently at 12. So I'm probably gonna set that right in the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there we go. All right, and should I try it again to see if... Uh... So what we'll do is we'll turn this button off. This will actually, what it does is while this is on, these pedals will actually not rotate. So okay. it's a step there, so they'll stop in their rotation in order to allow you to rotate down the way. Go there and then push that in, and then you're right to where you need to be again. Okay. And I cannot. Yep. And then I'll hit just for just a couple times for me. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. You pretty good there? Yeah. Yep, there we go. All right, and it'll stop you here, so okay. <laughs> make sure to turn it off so you can get out. All right, you're good to go. Okay, right. so when I want to start it again, uh, just say I'm ready to do another session. Yes, sir, just just that start button, the same thing. And follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, when I'm ready to turn the screen down, uh, green lights off, and turn the screen down. Yeah, you don't have to turn that green switch off. That's, oh, just, okay. a, that's just a help feature Okay. for the pedals. And Note that when you want to start on this, you have to actually make sure this green light is on in order for it to initialize. Okay. So same thing. It's on there. Do the same thing here. Okay. Yep. And it'll take track of that I've done this once. It doesn't alert you that you should be doing it every two hours? Or? No, it does not alert you you should be doing it every two hours. We just expect the, you know, full confidence and... Right. Um... um dealt with people for a long time expect the worst you'll never be disappointed <laughs> most most people don't actually do what they're supposed to and that's why they complain um uh, so how many times a day does this start or three to five times a day is what we want to try to accomplish here okay so if i do every two hours for 10 hours um you'll be all set in the green okay um Where's my Alexa? I took it out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> you may need that. Uh, yeah, so I think we did. Uh, I think we did pretty good. That's very little actually. Well, good progress here. No pain. Functionality was great on the device. Yeah. Um, no issues at all. To be quite honest. And there's a couple forms here. Okay. Even so, this first one here is going to be just a delivery confirmation. All I did a couple of days prior, prior to this date. Right. So this is going to be your start date today. Okay. Three weeks from now, uh, counting in this actual day is the end date. A couple of days before this date, we should have someone calling into you to let you know that we'll be coordinating the pickup of the device. Okay. Now, is there any reason why anybody would want to continue this on? uh longer than the three weeks yes we actually do have that happen quite often so okay. if they if you feel you know you can get more continued use out of the device as far as um just speeding up your rehab even further we have some people ask about that what you'll do is you can actually call into that customer service number as well mm -hmm. and see if you can get an extension if you wish to do that okay what they'll do is they'll get you in contact with someone who'll be able to um send you to billing to see if we can get that extension handled for you okay and then we'll go from there all right. Well, that sounds interesting. So, uh, um, it's, uh, you know, I mean, well, I did like four months of rehabilitation before starting this. And the one thing I've realized is uh, um, this got to become a lifetime event, not, not, it a, is a, lifetime event. not, not a three week event. <laughs> you know, so. I have multiple knee surgeries already performed. It's still a lifetime event. <laughs> yeah. You've had? Yes. Oh. ACL, two MCL. See, now they should have a release here. Yes. So you can, no, so you can just move it. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I don't need it up that just, high. Just push either. it. Up. As long as it's within the uh, range. Um, let's see. Um, 